Hey everyone, this is Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today we're at the beautiful St. Terry Ridge Golf Club located in Claremont, Florida. And we're going to talk about how you hit pitch and wedge shots and how you groove in a certain yardage. I'm going to give you a method of how you can work on this. We're going to work on it today with one of my students, Jackie. He's been working on this 50 yard shot and we're going to work on like 9L to 3L. He's working on with being connected with the things underneath his arms for connection. And we're going to talk about once he nails down that with a certain rhythm and the mechanics, how he could translate that into a, he's got a 54 degree. That 54 degree hits a 50 yards, then his 50 degree is going to hit it 60, 65 yards, then his 58 degree is going to hit it 35, 40 yards with the same swing. So he's going to have three different yardages with the same swing that he's working on here. So let's give it a whirl here, Jackie. Let's see what yeah. you've been working on. So I have these uh, head covers uh, trying to keep me connected. So hit that one a little thin. I'm gonna try it again, he's been working on, we're gonna download a metronome and start working on the uh, rhythm, but he's got a beat in his head, one, two, three. He was a little quick on that one. Probably one, two, three, right? Yeah, hmm. that, was, that was that one. Yep. All right, silky smooth there. You can see how it, he pulled that just a little bit. It went 45, 46 yards. All right, the divot was a little steep. We've been working on that this morning as well. And we're, we're trying to get it where he picks it a little bit cleaner, not as steep in the angle when he's hitting it. And just a little bit of a divot, call it a bacon strip divot, not a T-bone divot here. Right, okay. And how do we work on not hitting it so steep? What are you thinking about rhythm and what about the well, connection? Rhythm, connection is very, very important because it keeps you through and then so you can actually rotate and pick off the ball. So a little bit more level through your rotation, mm -hmm. not so down. Not okay. so down. Okay. And they're always like stand a little behind mm -hmm. it too. That helps. Oh that was that was his best one, best rhythm. It's about five feet away. That, that was excellent there. Alright, let's get a couple from down the line and see how he's looking and uh, we'll see it from there. All right, we're going to do the 50 yard shot we're talking about down the line here. I want to show you we got the club, actually the rod down for his feet alignment to make sure it's parallel to the target. Also, we got this rod down for his club face alignment so we can see exactly where he's pointing. We want to make sure we practice correctly. Also, he's going to do his routine before he hits this. He's working on his drill, of the connection drill, and he's also really working on his rhythm. So let's see how that goes here. A lot of things at once. So he hit that about 38 yards short. Pretty good. I would say now nah, that was really good. I, I tell you what, I liked seeing that. Okay, hey, stop. At home watching this, you're gonna see he did exactly what he practiced. So his routine was not good. He did exactly so it wasn't enough swing. Right. So we need to add a little more swing. More. He was you only had it hinged just a hair, just a little bit more, and do everything the same. So take a practice right. swing, add a little bit more back swing, keep the same rhythm. Cause that was beautiful what you did. Somewhere out there. Yeah, and you can let your arm go swing a little bit further back too. Yeah, there you go. All right, now, all right, let's see how far that one went. It landed 53 yards in there and went nowhere. So, your practice swing has to have a purpose. So, you know, I, I see that common with a lot of players. They go through a, a routine, but they're really not focusing on what the true detail of that shot is, right? Right, right. So you really got to focus. So that's how when you practice, you got to, you know, if he were to continue doing it short, to get it there, he would have had to get jabby. And that's not what we want either, right? Right. Okay. So let's do one more here. This is the shot. All right, let's see if he can handle the pressure here. Got to hit this one inside five feet. If not, you owe me 10 burpees. Oh. This is the one right here. 
you get inside five feet, I have to do ten burpees. Okay. Uh oh. Up, coming back down that hill. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, my gosh. I'm going to have to do burpees, it looks like. All right, I'll do one. All right. Now you still owe me nine. Still owe you nine. All right. That's how you work on this shot. And again, that was about 52 yards he hit there. He could take that to his 50 degree, and that would go about 60 to 65. 58 degree would go about 35 to 40. Now with that same swing, same rhythm, you got three yardages. All right, I'll see you next time. Make sure you check out all my great videos and vlogs and blogs on barnhillgolf.com.